pudding. I missed you. So I came over. I hope it's not too much trouble. No. It's nothing like that. I... just missed you. I had a nightmare. That... you didn't love me anymore. Mm. Pudding. You'd tell me if you fell out of love with me, right? Don't worry. I could handle it. I promise, Pudding. I can handle a lot of things. It may not seem like it, but I'm actually quite strong. I pride myself in that. I led us to many victories way back when I was on the team. I know it's not the same anymore, but putting, I was hoping together we could learn more about each other today. I don't necessarily mean Anything scientific. It's just... I wasn't sure... How to go about it. You see, when I talk to you... It feels different. It feels like I'm floating. If that makes sense. A lot of my life I felt really grounded. I felt like the things that I do don't really have feeling in them, but with you, I can feel the feeling, and it feels nice, knowing that what I do genuinely affects you. No, it's not like that. It's more to say, sometimes, when I think I know, what to expect. You throw a wrench into that. I like the unpredictableness. <laughs> Even if it gets you in trouble sometimes. No. It doesn't bother me. Nothing about you bothers me. In fact, I'd say you really made a better change in me. I didn't think I'd ever be more of a person and feel like less of a robot. No. Pudding. Sometimes, I'll be honest, I feel like I don't have a whole lot of personality. Yeah, it gets me down sometimes. But I try not to let it get me down too much. Because if I did, I wouldn't be a good boyfriend. And I definitely wouldn't be a good love. In fact, I feel like if I let it get me down, I wouldn't be much of anything. Do you think it will last forever? Part of me wants to say yes. And another part of me doesn't know what to think. Mostly since I've seen a lot of things end. I'm used to saying goodbye. Even if I don't like saying it. It's something that I feel like everyone ends up getting used to. But some part of me doesn't want to accept that you might say goodbye and never come back. Please, Pudding. While I could take it, it would wound me. In such a way, I wouldn't know how to function. I would weather it for you, because you're Pudding. And I'm not the type to try and keep you with me. If you want to be, I'd be happy to waste my time with you. I wouldn't really do anything. Just be myself. 
It's the only thing I know how to do. Because there's a lot of things that no matter how much I try and predict and understand, I just can't seem to understand it. You're one of those anomalies, Pudding. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you are. If you weren't, I wouldn't know how to talk to you. If you were just so predictable, then I wouldn't be able to. But it's your quirkiness for me. It's the way you... things like that. Did you know? A long, long time ago, I thought of something. It was that I was meant to be alone. It was something I always believed. Not in some self-degrading way. Believe it or not. I just kind of thought it was my place. I thought my place in the world is to be alone. I thought that maybe it was just how things were supposed to be. I never knew that there was people who thought that was sad because I never knew anything else. So I got used to it. I got used to being alone. And I can almost barely remember how things were before. It's almost like I wasn't me. Like I've become someone else. Is that a good thing? Or a bad thing? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think. The way you do it. It gives me hope that I'm not completely hopeless. Maybe that sounds redundant. But sometimes you need to say things twice. Because you don't believe yourself when you say them. When you lack hope for so long, but don't see it as a lack of hope, it just ends up being there, a constant in your life, something you don't know what to say or think, you just feel or don't. In my case, I didn't feel, I just existed. I don't think I was sad, but I was lonely. It was kind of reaching out there way back when I started volleyball. I was just trying to figure out what I could do. I was just trying to understand myself. And then by some twist of fate, I ended up here with you. I ended up happy. At least I think that's what this is. It's hard to say, to be honest with you. Mostly on accounts. I'm no expert on what's happy. But I do have some experiences that I would consider fond, as well as some experiments I'd like to conduct together with you. That is, if you want to. I'm not much for science, but I know that synapse is firing. It still means something. And when I'm with you, they fire in full cylinders. I just think to myself, I'm so lucky to have you.
And then I think to myself, is it a good thing that I do? Does it benefit me? Does it benefit you? Sometimes I doubt myself, not because things go bad, but because things go good. I have a fear of success. It may not sound like much, but success can be quite strange. It makes you feel like you're losing yourself. You feel like one moment you could lose it all because everyone has such high expectations. Meanwhile, I don't really expect something from myself. I just sort of exist, trying to make myself happy, trying to make you happy too. It's difficult sometimes, I won't lie, it's just a matter of me trying my best. Do you think my best is enough? I, I'm glad you do. I want to try even harder. Sometimes when people count you out, that just inspires you to try that much harder. But it's when someone praises you that it's hard to know how to respond when you don't think very much of yourself. I didn't mean to shift the conversation into that place. It's just sometimes I do think that I'm a nuisance. Not because any particular reason. It's just the more I think about it, the less I know myself. And I mean really know myself. That's why I brought you here, to my place, so that we might be able to do some experiments. That is, if you want, I'd be more than happy to do it. You see, I got these nya nya paws and these cat ears. And someone told me, you really like cat boys. So I thought, maybe this would teach me something about being really happy. Because maybe if it's that, maybe if I can teach you something or make you feel it, you can make me feel something, too. You already have. It's just now. I've realized there's a lot I don't know about feelings. I want to feel something, and I have sometimes. But then again, I just don't know. It's not because of that. In fact, it's the opposite. It's because of myself. It's because of the little voice inside. It says things. Not always good things. But it definitely helps me most of the time. At least I'd like to say it does. But admittedly, sometimes it's not so nice. Do you have a voice like that, Nya? You're my pudding, Nya. Does it make you surprised when I talk like a cat, Nya? Pudding, could that be?
You're blushing? I'm no expert, but that's my purveying theory. Come on, if you're blushing, let me see your face. Yeah, won't you show me your face? Yeah. You're so cute when you can't face me. <laughs> yeah. Is this really what flusters you? It's so cute. You're just so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you alright? I didn't mean to tip us over. I guess I just got excited. Excited that I could have an effect on you. Usually, I'm easy to overlook, but I don't want that for us, for you. I want to make your heart race, and I think I might just be pretty good at it. I might just be able to make you feel something. After all, Nya, <laughs> your reactions... They betray you in the best way. It gives me a lot of serotonin. Nya. 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 <laughs> that was only the first test. There's two more to go. Usually, good things come in three. But I'm sure you knew that. You seem to be well versed with things. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I have times of being well versed, but not every time. There's plenty of times where I feel like I have a lot to learn, a lot of things that I need to understand, and even more things that I could do better. But that's why I'm always trying to learn, because I understand how people are. How if I don't judge myself, then probably someone else will. I'm not saying negatively. It's more to say, I just find if I don't treat myself with that grain of salt, then I might not have what it takes. I think you understand me better than anyone ever has. Maybe that was out of nowhere. But I was just thinking, maybe it's because you're the first person who listens to me. I don't mean nobody cares or nobody listens otherwise. But maybe you hear more of me. Maybe you can understand me in ways that most people can't. It excites me, Nya. <laughs> so on to round two. No, I don't need to take this off. I hope you don't mind. Nya. Me? A sadist? No. Not like that. I promise. Maybe just a little. At most, I do like to tease a lot. You see, the next experiment, it's one that's a bit special. You see, I'm going to be kissing you, Nya. Yeah. Of course, you can opt out of it if it makes you uncomfortable. I just thought, if I kiss you a bunch of times, I bet after a while, 
you'll start having a reaction. Some kind of reaction that will make your heart race. And, yeah, that excites me. It's one of the few things I think I'm getting quite excited about. Being able to make you squirm a little. Being able to make your heart beat faster. It's proof. Proof that I have an effect on you. And that's something more than I ever thought I'd get. Me. <laughs> Me of all people. Being able to fluster my pudding. Yeah. And what a cute pudding you are. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me too much. I promise. It's only for your own good. This is all to make you happier. All to make you fall more madly in love with me. But now for stage three. The third experiment. I've got to show you how I spend my time. And make sure it's something you like too. Yeah. But I'll show you while kissing you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. Each time I get to see a different part of you, it makes my heart race. Just a little bit. It sure does make me feel special. Because then, I get a chance to see you in your natural environment where you seem like you're having the most fun. I understand it, just like I understand you. You enjoy this, Nya, don't you? You can tell me if you ever want to stop. I promise I'd let you go. I just can't promise I wouldn't come back. You're so cute like this. <clears throat> I could kiss you forever, Pudding. Did you realize it yet? All of this. It's... more than just a test. I tried to do it to genuinely make this night special for you. To be able to share moments together like this. It's something we can only do right now. I really, really love you. And sometimes, I'm not sure how to convey that. Yeah. It's not because of that. You're actually easy to talk to, unlike most people. It's just that you're so breathtaking to me. I'm not used to feeling much. But with you, I can feel it. The feeling of my heartstrings playing like it's some kind of symphony. Have you ever heard of Beethoven? You probably have. I really like his music and his story too. The fact that he did so much was such a crutch. And then Mozart, too. It's fascinating to me to see what people can do with their own disadvantages. It makes me inspired to try and do my best with my strengths, even despite my weaknesses. Would you like to see something? I consider a strength of mine. 
Yeah, it's something simple. Have you ever heard of a game called League of Legends? I'm kind of good at that game. Here, we can play together. You seem somewhat well-versed with it. Here. Yeah. You've heard of me? I'm surprised anyone would hear of me. Yeah. I made it to number one. But that's just one of my accounts. I've got five over there. And Challenger, that is. Sorry, is that weird? Sometimes I'm not sure. Mostly on accounts that I've never met anyone else that plays. I'm so used to being the only person I know that I guess it's surreal that you'd want to. I'm glad you do. Don't get me wrong. It's just surreal. I never expected that my pudding would have so much in common with me. Maybe it's just shocking. It is. To be honest with you, I'm not sure what to say. Other than I'm happy. I hope I don't disappoint you in the match. I'll multitask. I'll play with one hand. And then I'll kiss you a bunch of times until, yeah, I see your reaction. I think I'm getting addicted to it, yeah? Seeing you like this, it's beautiful in more way than one. You're so cute like this. You really know how to drive me wild. Yeah. <laughs> it's your reactions for me. It's the fact that you... You make it so easy for me. <sighs> You're playing now. See that? That's the enemy's tower. But you don't have to worry too much about that. Just focus on not dying. You're already doing better than most. It's actually kind of impressive. As well as kind of endearing. The fact that you're able to make this progress you might have some real potential. It, yeah. And what about me being first? Do people take these rankings super serious? Trust me, I'm not that good. It's just, I got a little lucky and I happened to get five accounts to the top five of Challenger. It's just because I win more than I lose. I think people understand at least part of the game. The difference is I think they give up and uh, maybe it's just better to play one champion or something. Every now and then I have to play someone else, but... What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. Don't worry about that. Worry about your man. Pudding. Yeah.
You're so cute. Yeah. I mean that pudding. <laughs> the way you are, it makes my heart sing. I really can't get enough. Aren't we supposed to be playing the game? Well, it looks like someone didn't learn their lesson. Last time at the pool. I guess we'll have to have a run too. Me teaching you how to game. <laughs> well, of course. We'll have to get creative with it. This is League of Legends, after all. No. No. If you... are too... crazy... I won't know what to do. And then I'll lose the match for us. actually lose. I hope you don't mind losing, Pudding, because... Uh, yeah. It's difficult for me, aren't you? Uh, how am I supposed to carry when you're such a big distraction? <laughs> I'm not calling you bad or anything. I'm just saying you might want to reconsider leaning with me if you're going to uh, constantly be using your exhaust spell on me. Of course, then there's only one thing to do. There, I'll have to teach you a little bit more personally. <laughs> Don't worry. I love you, Pudding. Yeah. 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 Put it. Yeah. Yeah. Put it. I love you so much. Yeah. Yeah. aren't you? The way you manage to fluster me every time. 
I just can't get away with anything, can I? Now focus on the game. I know you want to. <laughs> Look at you. Getting distracted will make me kiss you again. Yeah. We're doing just fine. Just don't think. I forgot about earlier. <laughs> you were definitely tempting me, weren't you? To show off. You wanted me to show off in front of you. Is it that you wanted your man to be cooler? Yeah. Yeah. I can be really cool. I promise. Pudding. It's just in front of you. I do get a bit nervous. That somehow... I'm gonna mess something up between us. I think long and hard on it. And sometimes I think, why would you want to waste your time with someone like me? And other times I think, yeah. <laughs> Was the joke too bad? Yeah. Sometimes it's just like that. You gotta try, even if you know you'll fall flat on your face. Don't worry. It's gonna be just fine. I won't let anything happen. I promise. Together, we'll be able to make something out of it. This love we have. I can tell a lot of things, you know? Yeah. Then it's real. That us together, we're really good at getting along. And that we're kind of meant to be together. I just get that feeling, you know? Because of how easy it is to talk to you. And you've given me the closest thing to love and affection I've ever been able to feel. Honestly, sometimes I'm not sure. I just want you to be able to be okay. Yeah. I want us to be able to be okay. I want you to see me as a man and not just some scared little boy Scared, I guess, doesn't begin to describe me. I'm much less scared and much more prone to not knowing what I feel or if I feel anything at all. I feel more like I'm subdued, like everything I would feel, it's barely there. Yeah, it is kind of weird. But I just don't know. Sometimes. It's easy to get caught in that train of thought. Yeah. But then I don't know what to say. I just look at you. And then I think. Nya. Nya nya. 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 Trust me. There isn't anything I'd change about the dynamic we have, because if I did, I probably couldn't yaw at you nonstop. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. You understood it from the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I guess that's all I wanted to say. It must seem like I'm trolling you, but I'm actually really content. I just want to spend the day with you, even if it means I make a fool of myself. 
You're about the only person I'd be okay with that. Even if I made a fool of myself. So what? That's not what I'm trying to do anyways. I'd like to be that cool boyfriend. Especially that cool Neko boyfriend. Yeah. So, will you love me forever? If I love you forever? Mm. Then it's settled. And sealed on a kiss. We'll just have to be forever. Be together forever. Like star-crossed lovers. I never believed in love stories. But you sure do make me want to believe, Nyan.